Hey everyone, Marcia here. I have a scrapbook process video for you today using the September main kit from my creative scrapbook. This beautiful kit has the gorgeous Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection and I am using a sketch from the September page maps as well. I'm scrapping some photos today from a recent trip my husband and I made out to Colorado to see my daughter who is living in Denver now. We went out there and spent some time at the Rocky Mountain National Park. Hiked around Bear Lake there. This is the easiest trail at Rocky Mountain National Park. It's even wheelchair accessible. Very easily to access. Um, the only hard part about getting into the park is that you need special permits at, right now and you get a two hour time frame for when you can go in and hike. It is a bit limiting that way. The, the permits are hard to get so do your research before you go but it is very much worth it. The park is just gorgeous. It's one of my favorite places to go when we go to Colorado to visit my daughter. This is a pretty easy sketch. I am using a blue pattern paper for the main strip down the middle that was mounted onto the craft paper background. I, I like that this sketch has so many photos. So there's a photo of my husband there that I took that I absolutely love. And then there are uh, three more smaller photos of my daughter and I and a picture of the lake and a little chipmunk that was brave enough to come by to get a little snack from us. I wanted to put some ribbon in the tag that I'm using above my photo. So I got out my Imagineus Magic Ribbon Cutter and this has a really hot wire coil in it that cuts the ribbon and seals the edges at the same time. It's one of my favorite tools for when I'm using ribbon on a card or scrapbook layout. But what I found out is that this is a really heavy canvas ribbon and it didn't cut all the way completely through. It did still help though to seal the edge so I think it'll keep it from fraying too much. I did some fussy cutting of these half circles from another piece of pattern paper and put those on the side. They're all different colors so it, it's a bit fallish that way even though these pictures are from the summer but you can see that in the photo there are trees when they're so dry they're already yellow there. For a title I just thought I would do Bear Lake to identify the location where we are at and I'm using one of the chipboard trees there as well. So I like to line up my thickers on a ruler that I can see through so I can move it around and make sure that's where I want it to go. I decided I didn't like the tag above my husband's photo and I swapped it out for this blue tag that I could put the title on as well as that chipboard tree and my ribbon and I like this so much better and it follows the sketch better this way. To finish up my layout I am going to put some enamel dots on here and I'm using a navy blue and just putting them on here on a triangle so I have three clusters of enamel dots and then I finished up by adding some spray mist splatters on my layout. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please check out all the other kits at My Creative Scrapbook and the other sketches available at Page Maps as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.